Hey love bugs, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we'll be slaying this beautiful lace wig courtesy of Riri Hair. Now, if you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe. I'll give you a moment. Now that you've done so, let's go ahead and jump right into the install. We're gonna be installing, styling, all of that all in one in this video. Here's a brief look at what the inside construction of the cap is. So this one is a 12 inch curly bob wig. She fits at my, a really nice shoulder length. They included the adjustable elastic band for a glueless fit. And of course, I just went ahead and put her on my head and you guys can see how smooth and flat this one fits along my hairline. It's not too big or bulky at all. So it should be super easy to install. Now they do have it set as a side part and I really did like it this way so I just went ahead and cleaned up the parting with a rat tail comb. Here I am going in with a wax stick. You guys know I love the carry hair stick but I try to switch it up on this channel and give you other options for other waxes. This one comes off a little bit more like clumpy and white as you guys see but once I go ahead and work it in it works literally just the same. And you guys know I love to pair my wax with an electric hot comb so let's go ahead and do that. <music> Now this one did come pre-plucked. If you want to pluck it out some more, I'd recommend doing that before you put the wig on or, you know, after you put her on can work as well. But always do your pre-plucking before you install the wig. Pre-plucking or plucking a wig in general will, you know, cause a little bit of fr friction and manipulation to the wig. So if you bond it down, especially if you're going for a glueless fit and then you go after that and pluck it, it may cause the wig to lift. This is why I recommend that you do before your install but you know to each is own i went ahead and cut off the excess lace now i'm going to do again a glueless install with my bed head spray i just like to apply maybe like a generous amount along one section for starters i'm doing the center section of my forehead and then i go ahead and blow dry until it's completely dry on a cool setting off camera i went ahead and did the same exact step on each side so the wig is completely bonded down now i'm going in and adding baby hair baby hair is always optional you guys know i prefer baby hair with my wigs so i went ahead and just did what felt right for me and you know feel free to freestyle it you can kind of take some pointers for what i do but of course no two people have the exact same taste so if you don't like the way i do mine you can do a little bit maybe around the parting you can do just the sideburn sides you can just do whatever you feel i do like to use a mousse for my baby hair and then i like to bond it down with the elastic band so that it can continue to like dry mold set and then if needed i'll go back in after it sets and remove the elastic band and then from there i can play with the little bit more after it's set so that it can be you know perfect While the baby hair sets, let's go ahead and work on the styling. We've installed her, we've made the baby hair, we've done everything we needed to do. Now it's just the easy part which is styling our luscious curls. I started off with some mousse. My mousse, like the pump was kind of jamming a little bit, which kind of deterred me from using this product. I also felt like I wasn't getting the best look with the mousse. You guys know, again, this is my favorite way to style my curls and to set them and define the curls and cancel out any frizz. But again, no one product works for every single wig in the world. So be mindful that if you don't like the way a product is working, always just go ahead and you know 
be creative, innovative, and switch it up. So from here, I decided to go ahead and wet the wig a little bit more with just some H2O. I've never tried this brush on like my curly wigs, I don't think. This is something that I typically would use to detangle my baby girl's hair when I wash her hair. So I wasn't really sure how it was going to work on the curls. And what I realized with this, it's very different, maybe opposite of a dimming brush, where a dimming brush will like clump the curls together. This kind of separated the curls and made it look a little bit more... Um, afro-ish and that's not really what I was going for so you'll see what I do in just a moment but you also know I like that little hike up in the front so I just added a little bit of holding spray paired with my electric hot comb to kind of have that little lift in the front and I think the hairline looks super awesome and we haven't even set it with the baby powder or the not the baby powder the contour powder and the concealer just yet okay you guys see that I use this brush here and it kind of like made it into a little bit of an afro. So I'm going to go back in with a little bit of more products and a little bit of more water and wet it down. Because I do want the ends to be more defined. So just be aware when you use this brush. It's going to detangle very well, but it's going to kind of separate the curls. And kind of turn it into like a baby afro. Cream product to the rescue. I love how luscious my curls look with this product. I'll have it linked in the description box, but it made a huge difference. The hair is so soft, smooth, bouncy, and of course it smells so good. Okay, so this is what the hair looks like styled. I tried to start off with the mousse, but my mousse, the pump was messing with me, so it was kind of hard to get it how I wanted. And honestly, I feel like the mousse really didn't complement this hair. I wasn't getting the definition that I wanted, which is why I tried the little pink detangling brush, which made it almost a little bit worse because it separated the curls and turned it into an afro which if that's a look that you want to go for obviously it didn't look bad it just wasn't what i was going for so i turned right back around and used my catwalk curls and this gave exactly what needed to be given from root to tip the curls are awesomely defined so i'm going to go ahead and add my concealer to the parting to make it pop and then i'm going to add powder to the hairline and then i'm going to go ahead and do my makeup. So this is the finished look. As you guys can see, I went ahead and beat my face. I've been trying new products here and there, so excuse the whole like highlight contour. It's a little bit extra, but we don't mind extra here anyways. But I really do like the way this one came out. Now I intentionally went ahead and did my makeup and stepped away from the camera for a little bit to allow the hair to dry a little bit so I can see exactly like what would happen to it. And as you guys can see, it kept the same fullness. It kept the same texture. It didn't like revert to like, you know, a different texture or anything like that. And then it does have a little bit of a crunch to it. Not a lot. It's If you look at it, you can tell it's still soft and moving. Like at the ends, like these pieces right here are a little bit crispy. But I kind of like that because it helps the hair to last longer. So if it's like crunchy today, that means tomorrow or you know throughout the next couple of days it'll soften up i'll just be able to wear my um elastic band around my edges while i sleep and shower and then usually after i get out the shower i'll leave it on for at least a good another maybe hour or so so it can kind of like re-dry underneath there um that way i don't have to rebond anything down and then i'll be able to spray it down with just a little bit of water and it should keep its shape and of course i'll put a bonnet over top the whole thing so hopefully that'll work out and it'll keep its shape now i did pull it behind my ear and that's just how i personally like it but if you want to bring it all forward even here i kind of did the little lift this is just you know my signature style but if you want to bring it all the way forward or however you want to do it you know you have that option you can also repart it i believe you have parting space from about here to here and then you have hairline um 
to do baby hair from ear to ear. So you can definitely switch the parting and make it a center part if you wish. And again, this one did come from Riri Hair. I don't think I showed the packaging in the beginning of um, this one, but this is the way it looks really nice. Also inside, it did come with a nice like chartreuse green, pukey green color bow wrapped on top. Their tissue paper has the logo on it. Their sticker has the logo. So really great attention to detail. You got a nice detangler brush inside. A pack of wig caps. And then also got some yellow duck bell clips, which I've been into yellow a lot lately. So I'm going to put these to the side right now because I really like those. I really just wanted to show you guys the finished result. I'm Ashley B. Deck. If you are tuning in for the first time, go ahead and subscribe. If you are feeling the content on this channel, become a part of the tribe. Like this video, share it with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!